Hey guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here. How are you guys doing tonight? I'm me getting prepared for a snowstorm. Yes, it is snowing out. So, I don't know why, but I did it anyways. So, last... Was it yesterday? Okay. Yes, I think it was yesterday. So last... Yes, it was. Last night, I went to the store, uh, to the grocery store, and I got some stuff. And I said, oh yeah, that's, that's enough stuff, right? Now, I go back to the store because I'm just like, maybe I should get some meat. You know, it's it's going to be, you know, I'm going to be in the house for a couple of days. I bought enough food for probably a couple of weeks. Um, I, uh, so I thought in this video I would show you what I bought. So I didn't show you what I bought last night. Um, I can kind of like just quickly go through what I bought and just tell you. So last night I bought, um, they had, I didn't buy this kind tonight. Now, just so you know, I bought stuff that I wouldn't normally eat. But with the government shutdown and with food stamps stopping, and yes, if you don't know, that's exactly what's happening. I'm lucky that I have family and friends that would support me, feed me, do what I need to do, make sure that I'm not... Um, going without. So, earlier this week, you saw my haul video, I bought stuff that I needed, right? But now I needed to buy stuff, food, that I would eat, right? So, by buying, because I don't really like eating canned foods, I don't really like that kind of stuff, right? And you saw that I, I think in one of my videos I showed you that I bought a can of tuna fish. That was really expensive. But then I found... Um, there was like tuna fish that was on, on sale for like a dollar a piece or something like that. So I bought five of them, right? So now I have six cans. Um, I have the um, soup that I told you about. And then yesterday I bought SpaghettiOs with meatballs, even though, yes, it's really bad for you. But you can either sit there and eat the whole can and get the entire amount of everything, or you can actually break it in half and only eat half of that. So that means you're only getting half the salt, half the protein, half the um, potassium, half the all the other stuff, right? You're not getting the full amount. Not all of them do that. This one did. So um, I don't really like eating pasta. I don't want to eat pasta. Pasta is so bad for you. Bread's so bad for you. All that stuff. But um, bread doesn't not last very like it, it actually lasts longer than we would think so like bread can last like a, up to a week to two weeks but it's like okay i have all this other bread blah 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 so i bought these these are my wraps so i was like you know what a chicken caesar wrap it's easy it tastes good or at least it used to i haven't had it for months what the heck is that is that my shirt or something oh so, um, it's my shirt. So, um, and then these things right here are so good. I bought these a lot, like, a little while ago. Maybe the beginning of the week or something like that. So these are really good. And, um, and then I bought bread. So, um, I bought these. And these are, like, organic or something like that. But these were a dollar a piece. So I bought three of those. And I'm like, eh, you know. If I don't really feel like eating anything, and or maybe if I'm in the mood for macaroni and cheese, like I just wanted to stock up a little bit. I don't usually like stocking up anymore, but I felt that because of what's going on, it might be the best to do that a little bit. Um, yeah, in here there's really not much stuff, and I didn't really buy anything in there yesterday. And then, so what else do we have in here? Nothing. There's nothing in here. <laughs> really <coughs> so I don't really want to eat them but I bought them yesterday and I bought a few like okay I don't I don't know how many I bought of these so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve I bought twelve of these do I want to eat these no but if there's no food and uh, you need to like really have your food sparingly then having one of those once a week isn't going to kill you. Even if you have to have two in a week, it's not going to kill you. Do I want to eat them? No. 
maybe I don't feel like cooking or whatever the deal is, right? But I'm not using these as my go-to thing, right? Then tonight I bought ice cream, but I had to put it in there. They were two for five bucks, so I was like, okay. And you're probably like, okay, it's winter. Why are you eating ice cream? I just want ice cream. Come on, guys. And then yesterday I bought broccoli, mushrooms, um, spinach, which I found out I actually like spinach cooked. I bought this stuff here. That's for my um, cooked chicken. No, for my chicken Caesar wrap. And then I got lettuce, and then I got this stuff here, so you can have like one real egg, but then you can have a substitute. And I don't know what else I bought yesterday. Oh, I, I mentioned these before, but I bought a few more yesterday, and then I bought a few more today, because I was like, well, this way, I don't, I don't have to like be like, oh, I can't have any. I, oh, maybe I shouldn't have that. I only have like three left, right? So this way I can be a little bit more lenient. And then today I bought um, um, whipped cream. If you want to ask me if I do that, the answer is yes. But I don't ruin the whipped cream in order to do that. So um, let's go through what we bought today. So one positive thing that I bought was this. Bananas. Now eat them, Jaden. Eat them. Um, I, I wanted to try this bread again. I haven't had this since, like, before Dennis died, and it's just a better type of bread. It's high in fiber, it's got protein in it, it's got minerals in it, and it's a hundred. It's 80 calories in two slices, and only 130 in two slices. So that's actually a really good buy. I like to try the honey wheat, you know. I won't eat regular wheat. I hate it. I hate it. I really, really, really hate it. So now I have two things of bread. Three things of bread. I bought this as a treat. Like, I can have an egg with maybe one of these as a toast. Or whatever. It's so bad for you. One slice. So if you eat one slice, you'll be alright. It's, it's really when you get into, like, two slices. Four slices. Ten slices. I mean, we just don't eat... Our serving size. If you eat your serving size, then you know what? Maybe we won't have all this weight issue. Maybe we don't have to go on all these diets and stuff. Just eat your serving size. Now here's something that I kind of got as a treat. Um, I really don't like eating these anymore. They're really, really bad for you. But they do last a little bit longer than bread does. Um, but it is a meal. And it's very high in carbohydrates. But it's in a whole bagel. So eat a half a bagel. Like have a half a bagel with, you know, a piece of bacon and one egg. You don't have to have five pieces of bacon, five eggs, and a whole bagel. Like you just don't have to eat that much. I swear, you just don't. Not at one time. Last night I ate my entire plate and I felt so sick after that. It's because my body's just not used to eating that much all at one time. We, we like to just snack a little bit at a time. So, because of the shutdown, and because I was kind of I mean, like interested in it, so I, it's over there, I got baked potato, and I got, this is the only kind of like mashed potatoes I'll eat, so I got mashed potatoes. So, this way it lasts longer, I don't have to worry. So I have one box of this and one box of that rice that's really gross. <laughs> but I don't know where to put it. And then I got another thing of lettuce because I'm like, well, you got the bread, you got that, you got it all, so you might as well have that. And the tuna fish, like I can't eat tuna fish by itself, but I can have tuna fish with cheese and lettuce. So that way I'm not like... I'm getting the benefits before I gag. Because <laughs> I gag on tuna fish. Don't ask me why, I don't know. I also have um, apples in there. I gotta cut them up and do something with them. So, we got a couple more things here. We have a lot of stuff, actually. We, we spent a lot of money. Um, so, I got 
two more of these. I do like these. They're not really that great for you. It's like sodium. Here, here's some sodium in your life. But I do like them, and if I'm having an actual vegetable, so like I have broccoli, so if I'm having an actual vegetable, then I can have maybe one of these, a little bit of that, you know? As long as you're eating a meat. If you eat a meat, then you'll be a little bit better. Actually, I'm not sure if I got the right kind. I like the summer crisp, but I'm not sure. Maybe this stuff is basically the same thing. I don't know. But now I have three cans, so that will help me for next one. I got this. I only got one because I didn't have enough food stamps to get two, and I had to like pick and choose like what I wanted to put away. So I only got one of these, but um, I found some weird spaghetti. It, I'll show it to you when I find it, but um, it's a weird kind of spaghetti that you can almost make into a soup. I did get chicken, so I'm like, okay, cut up chicken cook the chicken, put the chicken in the soup, put that in the soup, make the spaghetti, put that in the soup, and then, I don't know, I think that would all be what I would eat. So, I got cheese. So they have these things. It's so gay, okay? It's like this little container, right? Here, I'm gonna show you. It's like this. These right here are $1.79. What they wanted to try, so it was like a cracker barrel, and it's kind of like this, and it has two different kinds of cheese and a little bit of crackers. Okay, I can do that myself, right? They wanted almost four dollars. I'm like, are you serious, really? What are you smoking? Whatever you're smoking, I don't want any of that. So I got some cheese. So if I want to have a piece of cheese or two, two, what's the serving? Four slices of cheese. Wow. Wow. So cheese does have fat in it, but I think it's a good fat, not a bad fat. I guess it depends on the cheese. And then it's got eight milligrams of protein. So, really? You can have some cheese with some grapes, right? Put some cheese with that wine, as they say. So, I wanted to make a stir fry. I like this stuff here, which is, um, oh, it's organic, uh, bean sprouts. So I got a bag of these and this, and I'm going to try and make that tomorrow. You can put some chicken in it. You can even put noodles in it or um, rice in it. I think I would do, I don't know. I kind of would like both. So we have this. So, I got all the kinds of vegetables. Look at that. Let's have a party. So, I got some treats for me for Valentine's Day that I'm not going to wait till Valentine's Day to have it. But I don't have anybody to buy me anything for Valentine's Day. And it wouldn't mean the same either, you know? So, I got a few things. I got this one. This is Dove Chocolate. I can't wait to open it and find out. And you don't have to eat it all at one time. You can have one, one, maybe two. What is this? What's the serving size? Three hearts. That's good enough. So you just take three hearts with you and that's it. Don't take any more. That's enough. So I bought a bunch of Gatorades that I'm not gonna show you because that's gay. But look at this. It's strawberry and cream. I can't wait to try this. It's a white chocolate truffle. Oh my god. You know? Like, I, I want to try that. That's another thing I got for Valentine's Day. And then the last thing, these things were, this thing was $5. That's it. $4.99. So I got this. Now, if anybody doesn't know a secret, you want to know a secret? If you don't know this, okay, with your food stamps, it covers candy, including like seasonal candy. So, that's how I was able to get that. Because I have no money. When I say I have nothing, I literally, whatever change I have in here, which is like pennies, <laughs> that's all I own right now. So, it is what it is. 
All right, we're getting down to the meat now, right? The good stuff. So these meats right here were five bucks a piece. And I'm going to have no choice then to put them in the freezer. But, I'm, yeah, and you have to cook these all at one sitting. So I would probably just... These were five bucks a piece, which was awesome. So I bought two. Because I'm like, hmm. So I don't know how they're going to taste. I don't know if I'm going to like them. But then I look, and it says 21 milligrams of protein. Okay, I'll try that. <laughs> it's got a lot of salt. But these are going in the freezer. I'm not eating them right now. I don't know if I'm going to eat them even in a week. So we're going to put them in the freezer. So we have them when we need them. Come on, you. Get in there. Okay. My freezer is actually getting full. Okay. Next. Now, I do not know how to make steak tips. I really wish I did. I'm going to have to figure that out. Because I got some steak tips. Yes, I did. Ugh, we got two big bags full. So, so my meat got squished. It's okay. So, this was twenty three eighty two. That's expensive for me. Now, what I'm going to do is take this out of the wrapping. I'm going to do basically what I used to do when I was with Dennis, which is really crazy. I used to do this for him, and I guess it was part of my female ADD. <laughs> but in reality, it is a good way to do it. So, each piece of meat, so I'm going to open this up, and each piece of meat, I'm going to put in a freezer bag. And that way, you can take it out one at a time. You can defrost it. Maybe I want to keep a few in the refrigerator. Maybe I want to, you know, cook one at a time. So it may take me a few times to try and figure out how to do this. So, yes, we got some meat. And I thought I would treat myself. This was very expensive, but I thought I would treat myself to some bacon. Yeah, bacon. So I figure like two slices of bacon, yep, two skillet cooks bacon, nine in here. So it's 90 calories, seven of fat, 2.5 saturated fat, 20 cholesterol, 350 milligrams of sodium, no, no carbs, and seven proteins. So this with an egg, one egg, not 10, one egg. Uh, you can even do a half a bagel. You can do one of the toast. One of these. Um, yeah. Or you can do like a healthy version of a pancake or something. So. We got some bacon. Yeah. Now let's not forget that I have it. So I think I figured out why I don't really like eating fruit. Um, um, breakfast it's because Dennis and I used to eat breakfast like all the time and for dinner and all that stuff so I think it kind of just reminds me of him but I need to start eating some breakfast stuff that's healthy for you right and then I got some chicken and I'm gonna do the same thing to the chicken I'm probably yeah gonna keep one out and then I'm gonna put one in the freezer I did have two of these but I put one of them back because um, I couldn't afford it simple as that there's your answer And I told you I got a few more of these. So we're just gonna put those aside. Got the vanilla and the, I mean the regular and the chocolate. Then I got myself a couple of treats. I'm just gonna show you this one. The other one's on my bed. I don't really want to drink soda, but if I gotta go outside and I gotta work my butt off, making sure there's no snow in my car, why can't I treat myself to a drink? See? These are really expensive, by the way. They're like four bucks for four. Like, that's crazy. But I want the bottle. I don't want to keep the bottle. I just want to drink it out of the bottle. You know? Don't ask. Anyways. Let's see. What else we get? So, I gag when I eat two things that I know of. Tuna fish and oatmeal. 
but I found they had banana nut, which I thought had nuts in it, and then this one is banana bread. And there's only two packets, which sucks, but um, it says fiber and protein, so it's got seven proteins. Fiber has seven, six, and six. And yeah, so we'll just stop there. But yeah, I got that. And then I got four different ones of these, so I'll show you that. So we have this. I have two of these. Now, I only like angel hair pasta. I don't like regular or thin spaghetti or all that other crap. Got some junky stuff. Mm, you want some? If you haven't tried these, these are really good. These are really, really good good especially if you like caramel these are really good and I thought I would treat myself to some cookies yes I know I bought bad stuff right but I don't have to make the whole package I can just make two cookies at a time and eat it that's it two cookies two not ten not five two it doesn't really say a serving size though I would say for one cookie and that's a lot of fucking stuff in there. It could be worse, though. I have seen worse. So, we're going to put this in the refrigerator because it's been out for a while. It's kind of getting, like, slimy. Slimy like it's been out for a while. I was, uh, I went to see my neighbor. My neighbor's 94. She's a sweet, sweet old lady. And, um... Her kids are so worried, and they they want them to stay her to stay with them, and she wants to stay home. So they've been in contact with me, and I said, "Don't worry, you know, if she needs anything, I'm here." I told her I'm home. I'm not going anywhere until Tuesday, depending on the weather and all that stuff. I went and gave her some battery-operated lights to borrow, and she loved them. And now she wants me to go buy some for her, so I will. <laughs> Okay, what else do we buy? It seems like I did not buy enough stuff for the money that I paid. But whatever. I got a treat, another treat. Like, I don't have to eat all these treats all at one time. Don't think like, oh my god, you got cookies and ice cream and, and these. <laughs> yes, expensive. They're like $1.50 a piece. A piece. I wanted to try them, though. Um, you yeah, like, you got... Candy and cookies and what? I thought you were on a diet. Yes. You can have a little bit of goodies without going overboard. So basically what that means. That means don't eat the whole thing. And if you're going to eat this, that does not mean that you can binge on this and this and one of these and ten of these. You know, it doesn't mean that. It just means that you make a decision of what you want as a goodie that day, and that's all you eat. So I got this. This stuff is actually the best. Best. It's, yes, it is. It's better than that kind, too. If I don't like Philadelphia. It's gross. Gross, gross, gross. This stuff here is whipped, and it's just whipped in such a awesome way man it's it's it tastes so good so good and that's why i ended up getting bagels i'm like oh, okay you're talking to me damn it all right i don't know where i'm putting anything there's not enough room i got two things of strawberries hopefully they taste good but that's breakfast for tomorrow or a snack or in case you get hungry and you want to binge, binge on the strawberries. There you go. I don't know if I have room for all this stuff. Really? This can go in here. And what else do we got? I think we're just about done. Hold on a second. So I can show you the kind that I was talking about. So, like I said, I got two more of these <clears throat> in a different, just to stock up, really. Like, I, I can't take a risk that 
you know, if something's gonna happen, then I'm not gonna be able to eat. I got this kind, which I'd like. Which I have no idea where I'm gonna put. I got this kind. And then this is the kind that I thought would be for the soupy kind of stuff. Isn't that weird? Look at that. It's like little and small and stuff. I wanna try it. Like, I wonder what they taste like. I mean, it, it tastes like pasta, I bet, but still. I wanna try that. This must taste good. All right, we got some food. So I got another kind of this over there. And now we're just gonna put everything away, organize everything, and that's it. <laughs> we got the crap load of um, Gatorades. We have water, two, back, two big things of water. And then I had to get this stuff today. That's like the last of my money now. Mm. So sad. This thing was like a dollar. And then this was like four or something like that. So um, I was detaching some of the, uh, the stuff that was on the wall. Now they're holes. So you sand it. You put this on. You sand this. And then you paint. So once I get done with this part, then I'm going to ask them for the, for the paint. Because they only allow the kind that they would like to use. Okay, fine. Then give it to me. I asked it for you a year ago. And never got it. So, I will re-ask and hopefully get it. So, the other thing, and I think I said this in my other video. But my rule is, is I am not allowed to shave my face. Which I am dying. I need to shave it. And it sucks because it's like all dark under here, right? And then it's like a light under here. And I even have gray. More on this side than that side. I haven't seen any on this side, I don't think. And it even goes up here. Like, you can, if you were like right next to me, I don't know if you can see. I don't know, can you see that? See? It goes all the way up. I'm not complaining. I just wish it didn't go all the way up, but. Or move that hair over here so they touch and then fill in all this stuff here, right? And then this side, like this is the longest I've had it. See how long that is? Like that's really long. And it curls up and it itches me and it makes me sweat. And I'm like, ah. Oh. But the rule is I can't shave my face until I have the balls to talk to my counselor about facial hair. I don't know why I have such an issue talking about it with, with him. I talk about it with my friends, I talk about it with my family, and now I need to start talking about it with him. Now, the other thing I've noticed, uh, my eyelashes are not as curly. They now fall down a little bit more. But it's so annoying because now you always feel like you have something in your eyes. And I'm just like, what the heck? Oh, it's just my eyelash. Damn, what? Stop it. Stop messing with me. So, yeah, that's really it. <laughs> so, <coughs> before we lose power, because I have a bad feeling we're going to. So, before I lose power, I'm going to put all my videos up on YouTube all at one time. And I really hope you guys enjoy the name reveal. And I'm also going to do a video. Um, I don't know if this would be fun or not fun. Or if you guys would even like it or not. But I thought you would like to... Because I don't really read them that often. And I would have to be careful of which ones I choose. But um, to do a video on negative comments and see my reaction to the comments because I usually laugh my ass off. Yes, I did. I said I swore I'm sorry I didn't mean to do that, but yes, I am going to laugh like crazy and just and then that way I, you can hear what I say cuz I'll say it to myself, but this way you'll hear what I would have said to myself like and then I can just basically talk to you guys about it and stuff and laugh about it and joke about it and like m be able to show you guys like um, what kind of person I really am when it comes to like negative stuff and how to deal with that kind of behaviors and you know I just don't let it waste my time. So I have like over 740 
like comments that I haven't even looked at or that I haven't that they're they're like on hold until I read them so I have to go through them and stuff and I can do that on camera with you so how's that anyways that's it I'm gonna get everything ready I need to do all this meat stuff and then I need to do the trash and all that stuff and it's like 10 30 and I still haven't eaten yet today and I'm starving and I'm like what do I want to eat now <laughs> so anyways that's it if you like this video don't forget to like down below let me know like what you like that I bought and if you liked anything and um that's really it but comment any anything is fine and um uh and that's really it so thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe and i'll see you guys back here the next time you guys have a good night be safe